Hey, hey, hey! Okay, I'm going to cut a soap I made this morning using the hot process method. And this one, I think, will probably be called Bonfire Toffee. And it's a blend of lots of different scents and resins and essential oils. And it still smells a bit like hot process soap, which I find a bit odd to start with, but um, it's nice. It's also got a licorice sort of scent in there, and it's got some, I've sort of slapped in some dollops of soap with um, pinhead oatmeal and coffee grounds. So it would be quite an exfoliating soap. And then on the top I've got some glitter and some juniper berries, so it's very dark. But I haven't played with hot roast, uh, hot process for such a long time and I thought I'll make one for bonfire night. So that's that. I'm just gonna, it's only a small batch as well, I only did a little one because I didn't want too much of it. I just wanted to do a little batch really. Um, Get how wide this is, only 20, so we want two lots of eight and a half, eight and a half. Excuse me while I do this, sort it out, and then there should be a bit at the end. That's it, that's better. So, yeah, there'll only be like 30 bars or something like that, and it will be a little bit more expensive than the rest of my soaps because in this one I've used some really nice base oils. So we've got like coconut and palm and then I've used olive oil, I've used macadamia nut oil and I've used black currant seed oil which is very expensive so the price will have to be reflected in these soap bars. I'm not sure yet, I'm going to have to work out how much it costs and then I shall work out the actual cost to the customer. So, it'll be just a bit more because of those oils in there and also there's quite a blend of essential oils and resins and fragrances as well. So, it's going to be quite soft in the middle. I only made it this morning and I've just been out with my mum. I've just got back and I thought I'd better come back just to cut this. That's nice. You can see like that's the oatmeal in there, bits and pieces. Mm. So it smells like licorice. There's quite a lot of licorice scent in there. And then I've used coffee, like a coffee scent and some vetiver oil and some resinous sort of oil Peru balsam some, just some lovely ingredients in this so it would be really good on the skin and um, I went off hot process soap for a while but I've got back, back into it now and it's so nice to make and I don't make mine in a crock pot I make it on the stove top I should do a um, a video of doing it one day because it's quite interesting how quick you can make it using just your, your normal soap pot on the stove and it doesn't take half as long as it does to do it in a crock pot so it just sort of creates like you know when your soap's about to really seize badly and it goes like really thick really really quickly but you get that happen and then you can wait a few minutes and it will start to rise and that's the heat rising from underneath and then you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing until it stops rising and you're ready. You're ready to put in your super fats or your other ingredients and your fragrances. And it's, I just find it so much easier. So I'm just going to chop the ends off of there. Have a look inside. Oh, it does look nice. It looks kind of like a night sky. A dark night sky. It looks like it's got an in the pot swirl, but it hasn't. It's just dolloped in there. This could change. We'll see what happens. And for the colour, I use cocoa and charcoal. So I wanted that really nice dark chocolatey brown colour. 
Okay, now I'm not sure. I was going to toy with maybe making these thick bars, like the thick chunky bars, but I don't know. Um, I'm Actually, no, they'll be too heavy to blooming ship, won't they? So I better do it at the time. Okay. It's about a thick chunky bar, but it's the shipping cost is going to be too much, so I will do it normal. Let's see what we get out of it. That's right, it's still nice. I'm just going to trim them up a little bit. And they'll be cured probably within a week or so. So I cooked it right out. So that I reckon these look really nice. I love this sort of look to a soap. I'm just going to get my little trimmer. Okay, I'm just going to see what they are going to look like in the end. Let's trim them a little bit. So, yeah, it's probably going to be called Bonfire Toffee, I think. So that's it. That's what these bars are like. I like. I like a lot. I think it's nice to do, have a toy and have a play about with things. But this week, oh my god, I've been so tired. It's been one of those weeks where I've just been so stressed with everything. Trying to get everything done for Christmas. Because our Christmas line is going to go live next week. So I've still got some things to finish. But, yeah. Whew. I was That stress yesterday, I had to just walk out of here and just get out of the workshop. Before I completely lost the plot. <laughs> job I can laugh at myself I guess but I was just in such a tiz and trying to <laughs> see what I mean <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing because I have my list of stuff and then trying to stick to it and make sure everything goes to plan is it, I just find it so difficult at Christmas time because it's it's a it's a long hard, hard slog and you know there's a time scale for getting your stuff done and it just does my head in really but I do love this time of the year but it's it's a big 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 stress because it's like you know you have a lot more sales at Christmas because people aren't just buying for themselves they're buying for their families and things like that so you've got to make sure you've got enough in stock so yeah stressful so yeah, I can really smell that coffee in there and the juniper berries look nice so yeah, lovely bar of soap. So yeah, I just have to remember to tell myself to calm down and stop because it can wait till the next day. But I, I suppose I get so stressed and think I've got all this stuff to do and if I stop, I'm not going to get it done and blah, blah, blah. But actually, it's better if you do stop and then come back to it afterwards because otherwise you just get yourself in a mess, really. which I did yesterday. Okay. Just lovely. Hot process soap is just so lovely. I've forgotten how nice it was. When you cut it and it's like, you know, you can see it's only going to take a few days to cure out. And I did a water discount on this as well, so... It was... This is going to harden up even more. I think once I've cut this, I will notice a difference in probably about an hour to the hardness of each bar. This is... I don't know how many I'm going to get out of this. Do the cup of tea, I know that much. I shall make one in a minute. Mm. Yep. Are you 
trailer, that black rustic look, look at it. It's like a bar of fudge or something. Sort of night sky fudge. <laughs> We're not right as soap makers, you know. We're not right in the head. <laughs> I'm obsessed with soap. I really, really am. I you know, freely admit it. I absolutely live and breathe it at the moment. And I wonder if it will last for the rest of my days. I doubt that, but you just never know. But at the moment, and for the last six years, it's been my life. So it's a nice thing to do. Right then, let's see what we can get out of this end piece. God, this is bringing back memories. I haven't used this mould for ages. I've always been using my big one, so I don't have to keep running out of soap. But this, I made a double mould, which I've used for years. So I only ever really needed 30 bars of soap in any one batch. But that's kind of changed a bit now. I'll just give these away in some orders. These end bits are not worth doing as a saleable samples, really. It's just this is a bit of a fun soap I just made today, just so we'd have something for a bonfire night. I did some last year, but um, I think I just did whip soaps and body whip. Yeah, I did. And I did one last year called Bonfire Toffee, but it just the scent just wasn't right. But this one, it smells kind of like Bonfire Toffee with some smoke and sort of a different, a different take on on it. Really, but it's nice. But I think like in a few days, this will probably be at its best. Like with the scent, it'll come in a few days. Okay, that's a chunky, chunky bar. Right. What do we got? One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight. I've got thirty one bars of soap. This one. So it's not too bad. I'll bring you around, you can have a look, and I'm going to make a cup of tea because I'm gagging for one now. Okay. Ain't it pretty? I love it. It's cool. I should do some more hot process one day, but yeah, that's really, really nice. Okay, see ya.